absolutely needed statute, and if there is anything this council can do to influence members of the, the state senate to move that piece of legislation forward, I think that would be a very, very good thing to do. That's Chief Steve Conrad pleading his case to members of the Louisville Metro Council. Gangs are a huge problem, and, and if I can be in gang A today and gang B tomorrow, it's awfully hard to prove that I'm a member of either gang. Conrad says House Bill 315, known as the Gang Violence Prevention Bill, would change the way the Commonwealth defines a criminal gang. If passed, a gang would be defined by three members. Right now, the law says a gang must consist of five members and prosecutors must be able to show an organized hierarchy. Proving a hierarchy is, is a challenge because we don't necessarily see one person calling the shots. Under the existing law, gang members must also be part of a, quote, continuing pattern of criminal activity, meaning a member must have committed two or more felony crimes or two or more violent misdemeanors or a combination of the two within two years. The chief says some gang members are too young to have an accessible criminal past. The problem is juvenile records are sealed. We don't have the opportunity to get that information to prove that. Last December, the chief said there were five youth gangs operating in Louisville. House Bill 315 would increase penalties for people convicted of gang activity. The chief says he understands concerns that longer sentences will put strain on an already overcrowded prison system. I, I would argue that if people are incarcerated because of a gang statute, they need to be incarcerated.